Do you want to access another computer using the remote desktop? In this video, you will see how to use remote desktop to access another computer. What is remote desktop? Remote desktop is a Windows inbuilt tool that you can use to access another computer over the internet. The most preferred use of a remote desktop is to provide remote assistance to users who are working far away. You can also use it for your personal use. For example, if you want to do something on your another computer, you can use the remote desktop to access the computer from your current PC. Configuring remote desktop. Let's see how to configure the remote desktop. I am demonstrating the steps on Windows 11 computer. Steps to enable the remote desktop is pretty much similar on Windows 10 also. Remote desktop isn't available on Windows 11 Home Edition. You need to have Windows 11 Pro or an Enterprise Edition. Click on the Start menu and search for the Remote Desktop settings. If you can't find it, open Settings. Under the System tab, scroll down and click on the Remote Desktop. Here we can simply use this toggle button to enable the Remote Desktop. Then we will see a pop-up where we need to confirm our action. If we expand the Remote Desktop, we will see the option of using network level authentication and remote desktop port information. You don't need to change anything here. You should leave network level authentication enabled. Here you can see the PC name which you can use to connect to this PC from another computer. Then here you will see remote desktop users. This is where you can add users who can access this PC remotely. It is mentioned here that users in the administrator group can access this PC even if they are not listed. So if you want to give access to another user, who are not administrators, you can click on add button, then advanced, find now. Here locate the user, select them and click on ok. Click ok again, then here you will see all the users listed. Click ok. Now these users and administrators can access this PC with their credentials. You need to follow the same steps on the PCs you want to access remotely. Using remote desktop to access another computer. Now that you have enabled the remote desktop and you know the PC name, you can now access this PC remotely. You can also use the IP address of the computer instead of the PC name to connect. The only problem with the IP address is if you use DHCP, the IP address changes over time. If you are going to use the IP address to connect, you need to specify a static IP address on your PC. So let's see how to connect to another computer. Click on the start menu, type remote desktop connection and click on it. Here you can enter the IP address or computer name you are trying to connect. Let me expand this to check all the options. Here I can enter the username. If we can check the display tab, we can set the size of remote desktop using this slider and change some color settings. If we click the local resource tab, we can configure remote audio, keyboard and then local devices and resources settings. Here in this section, you can see local resources such as printers, clipboards, drives, ports and video capture devices. By default, printers and clipboards are available, meaning you can use the local printers and clipboard on your remote session. We can also enable the use of our local drives. Let's share this local C drive with a remote session. Next on the experience tab, we will see some settings related to connection speed to improve performance. Just leave it as it is, detect connection quality automatically is the better one. The last tab. Advanced contains server authentication, connect from anywhere and user authentication settings. Here the important part is the server authentication. It verifies that you are connecting to the intended remote computer. So you can specify if server authentication fails, then what action should be taken. This drop down shows warn me, connect and don't warn me and do not connect. So you can select any of the options. On the general tab, you can save all these settings as an RDP file. Click on the save as. Choose a location, name the file and click on the save button. Now whenever you connect to that computer, you can just open the RDP file you have saved and all your settings will be loaded. Then simply click on connect. Now enter the username and password. Now you will see a security certificate warning. Since you trust the computer, click on yes. Now the remote desktop connection starts. You will see the connection bar here at the top. We can pin the bar or maximize the whole remote desktop. Let's open the file manager and see if we have access to the local C drive that we have shared. Click on this PC, 
and we can see our shared drive under redirected drives and folders. It contains the drive letter and PC name. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.